Colonel Jim Corbett saved countless lives as he hunted in India for man-eating tigers and leopards with this 450 400. One of the most famous and legendary hunters of all time was a gentleman named Colonel Jim Corbett. Jim Corbett is famous for one reason, man-eaters. He grew up in India and as a hunter and conservationist and a naturalist, he learned a lot about the fauna and flora of India's country. Corbett was hired to kill a lot of man-eaters that were terrorizing the people of India in the early 1900s. Literally thousands of victims were claimed by these man-eaters that Corbett ended up killing. Two tigers alone racked up a total of 800 victims. It's rare that a hunter ever pursues an animal that can hunt him back. However, Corbett made a living hunting these man-eaters, most of which were taken with this 450-400 double rifle built by W.J. Jeffrey and Company. Until the invention of the 375, the 450-400 was the most popular round for hunting dangerous game in Africa and India. The 450 Nitro Express was the first Nitro Express developed around 1898 by John Rigby. This cartridge was based on the then popular 450 black powder express case. The 450-400 fires a 400 grain bullet, 2,150 feet per second, and generates 4,110 foot-pounds of kinetic energy. This 450-400 features double triggers, as well as express leaf sights of 100 yards, 200 yards, 300 yards, 400 yards, and even 500 yards. A 500 yard shot is a long one, even with today's modern weapons and scopes. You can imagine the pressure Corbett felt as he flipped up the 500 yard leaf when he was drawing a bead on a tiger. This rifle is considered by many to be the most heavily used yet well taken care for rifles in the world. As a matter of fact, every bit of the bluing has been taken off of this rifle. On the barrel, it's silver. However, if you remove the forearm, Literally the only bluing left on this rifle after being tromped around India chasing man-eating tigers and leopards is the bluing found right under the forearm grip here. After Corbett's long run with this rifle, it was later owned by world-renowned gun rider Elmer Keith. Elmer Keith was famous for developing a lot of Magnum revolver cartridges we know today, including the 357, the 41, and the 44 Magnum. The current owner of this rifle paid approximately $300,000 to acquire it which should give you some idea about the history and legacy this rifle holds. Corbett wrote a lot of stories on his uh, hunting adventures chasing tigers and leopards, one of which was he stayed up all night in a tree calling to a female leopard that was in an area that had killed several people. He sounded like a male. The female came in the dark of night and hanging from a tree eight feet in the air, as the female climbed up to attack Corbett, he literally shot her as she was about to chew on the end of this barrel. bucket you can see the water blew out of it not a huge hole in, on the entrance but in the back pretty good exit hole obviously this bucket's no tiger but it definitely shows you what this legendary firearm is capable of 